So the three of you here, and I know that uh, when we get a little bit farther in and after the season's over, you get a chance to speak at the, the banquet. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Have you thought about what you're going to say? I'm going to keep mine short, sweet, and to the point because I'll probably cry. So <laughs> probably be a little sad about leaving. So It's been four years, though. Is there anything in particular that you're going to talk about, Cass? Oh, I mean, there's so many good times. I don't know. I have to sit down and think about what to pinpoint in particular. But certainly I'm going to thank all my teammates for you know, being around and making basketball so fun. Chelsea, have you thought about it at all? Yeah, I actually have. Kind of have a little speech prepared a little bit. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of more of, like, on the fly type of person. So I might rip it all up and just start that day. Right. Um, I don't know. I think I'll probably talk about each person individually. Um, that's my plan right now. But, I mean, we'll kind of see. Like Cass said, though, I'll probably be really emotional. So we'll see if I get to everybody or not. And Jess, how about you? What are, what are your thoughts? Um, well, I'm a really bad public speaker. I say, um, a lot. So I guess I haven't thought about if I'll prepare ahead of time or just go with it. But I know I really do want to emphasize just thanking my teammates and um, the fun couple of years we've had with each of them. The three of you are kind of a unique class. Going from the NAIA to the Division II level, have you thought about that from a historical standpoint at all? Honestly, not really. I mean, I think just being our group of girls that we are, I think we just kind of went with it and kind of knew what we wanted to get out of, I guess, our careers here and just kind of went from there. I don't think, me personally, I thought of going from NAIA to D2 in the transition, honestly. Has there been a, a moment that kind of signified that change at all? I mean, did you realize, boy, it is a lot harder at Division II level? I think maybe, I think it was our sophomore year and we played jury. I think we lost by a lot and we were like, oh, this isn't quite the same as playing the NAIA teams that we were normally used to. So I think there's a difference in competition level that you notice right off the bat. Anybody else? Um, and then I guess last year when we really had to fight at the end of the season to get into the postseason tournament, I think that was something that at the NAIA level, Coach Kress's teams probably didn't really have to win their last couple of games to get a good seating in the tournament. Yeah. I think, kind of just going off that, since I touched on last year and the year before, I think definitely this year you can tell a difference in the yeah. competition. Mm -hmm. I mean, we weren't, whenever we were in AI, we didn't play against ranked teams in the nation. And this year, I think we've played like eight or something ridiculous. So I think just knowing how many people are ranked in the nation coming out of just one conference is pretty incredible. In hindsight, are you happy to have had the chance at the Division Two level to play? I know I am. I'm happy that we had the competition, and I think it's, you know, made us better basketball players along with better people, too, because it helps contribute to your character to be challenged every night. So I think I'm happy that, that we were at D2. Yeah, I think it's been a lot more competitive, especially since our freshman year, because we're now D2, and that also makes it more fun. Mm -hmm. I think it's, you know, kind of going off what they just said, I think it's more enjoyable because we're playing against the top people in the country mm -hmm. and you know for to play against nationally ranked teams and to know like hey you know we might be a small school but we're still competing with some of the best players in the nation is pretty cool in some ways that's frustrating i guess because we do have to scratch and claw to get to the the, the tournament how going back to your freshman year compared to this year uh, does that frustrate you or, or do you kind of keep that in perspective I mean, I think it's pretty frustrating because we've had a winning season every year since we've been here, and then this year we're, you know, kind of struggling, um, especially with having, you know, six-game losing streak. Um, but I think it just tests our character, and I think, you know, to have to play the better teams, I mean, because you don't want to play, you know, the cupcake teams every game that we win by 40 or 50. That's not fun for anybody. So I think just to, you know, compete with everyone and having the opportunity to compete I think is something cool, so... Yeah, and touching on that, I mean, I think it helps build our character. You know, playing challenging people every night does help build character, and like in the long run, because none of us are probably going to go to the WNBA, so it's going to help us, you know, later in life build some, you know, traits that we need in jobs. Mm -hmm. I am appreciative though that we got to start our first year in the NAIA because mm -hmm. I think if we would have come in and played in the GLVC right away, it would have been a major shock, and so mm -hmm. somehow or in some ways. I think the three of us are lucky because we got to kind of ease into the whole mm -hmm. Division Two aspect. 
this year will end at some point, whether it's you know down the after the Rockers game or, or in the playoffs, or whatever. Uh, what's that going to be like for you? How are you going to feel walking off the court the last time? Any idea? Um, definitely sad. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, yeah. Sorry. Gotcha. <laughs> I know that it's already affecting me. Just and even while we're in games, I'm thinking about the fact that. I don't have many more of these and that's <laughs> even more of a reason to go hard and try to get as many wins as we can and so I'm hoping that especially as seniors we can pull together these last few games and it is something that's sad and will probably bring us down a little bit but I think it's something that we can also use to motivate ourselves so that we can last as long as we can our last year. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go so you yeah. can figure it out. Um, <laughs> I don't know, coming out of high school, I guess I always knew that eventually I would play college basketball, and so when you're a senior in high school, of course you're sad, but it's, oh, well, I have another chance to play four more years. And I know injuries and everything, and you never know what's going to happen. Um, and it's really hit me hard because, I mean, maybe next Thursday will be the last time I ever put on a college uniform. And then from that, it might be in two weeks in Evansville. And so, I mean, it just... I don't know, it's part of growing up and moving on, and I don't know, you never think it's going to be over because it's something you've done since you're young, and so, I mean, I just appreciate the opportunity my parents have given me and Jewel's given me to actually still be able to play, and I mean, it's been a great experience, and of course, you never want it to end, but I mean, it's just part of growing up, I guess, so. Cassie, you were the one that got maybe more emotional I right did. at the beginning there. What, what do know. you think? I think I'm just going to miss everything about it, like my teammates and actually having something to do every day like go out there and play and compete against people and having a challenge like that um but i know like moving on in my life this is going to shape me in every way so i'm obviously glad that i did it it's just hard that it's going to be over yeah. i mean i think it's just something that no not everyone can say they've done you know i mean a lot of people play in high school but no not everyone gets the opportunity to play in college and i think you create relationships and bonds with people in college that you didn't necessarily in high school and so i think it's just a little more emotional for most people because it's something that not everyone gets to do. Yeah, and we're definitely a family, so it's sad to leave it. On a brighter note, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about something a little bit more fun. Nice. What's, <laughs> been, what's been the biggest moment for each of you and Jewel? Whether it's on the court or off. Um, I'd say basketball career-wise, just going to Evansville last year was kind of um, awe-inspiring, I guess, to play on you know that big of a... Mm -hmm you know, court and with all the people there watching you and um, that was really fun just to go there and be with my teammates and kind of experience something like postseason like that. So right. that was really cool. Individually, do you have a moment that stands out for you? Um, I guess individually I would say it would be, you know, scoring a thousand points. I think that's pretty cool. Um, especially because my sister did it in high school a week before I did. So it was cool to kind of do that at the same time. Jess, Chels? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I guess just over the four years, I am especially grateful for the education that I've gotten here, and I'm really excited for what's going to come in the future because of all the opportunities I've had here, and I think that uh, basketball has benefited my education in so many ways by making me more disciplined and um, coming to the setting, setting aside time to come to the gym and time for homework and even as an athlete and a student, it's important to be sleeping enough and eating the right things. And as athletes, that we really do have to be careful in those ways. And if we were just students, um, I know that I personally might not have gotten the, as good of an education experience. Yeah. I mean, I agree with both of those, and those have you know been pretty big aspects for me. Um, but I guess also for me, um, Delta Zeta. And I mean, because they've already touched on that, but I think it's just, I never actually was going to go and join a sorority and then to be, you know, on exec and then be president of it. It's taught me a lot of leadership roles and responsibilities that I never knew were part of something like that. Um, and then a lot of the community involvement we do, I mean, we do fundraisers um, with Down syndrome. Um, you know, we help Coach Cress's um, family out a lot. So I think in that aspect of it, too, and just teaching me things outside of, you know, education and basketball and that there's other things out there that I can do to, you know, better the community. So. How about, Chelsea, what about uh, on the floor? Any moment that sticks out for you? Um, I guess I would also say the 1,000 points, um, you know, 
like we've talked about before, it's not just an individual thing and it's a team thing and to be able to share that, you know, with Cassie this year and the rest of my teammates, um, it's a pretty big deal to me. Jess, how about you? Individual moment that stands out over your four years? Um, I think I've used this one before, but I really <laughs> loved going to Vegas. And I think that was a really fun thing as a team. And then also at one of the games there, I had a kind of a last second three pointer. And so so I think I'll always remember that. Jess, a lot of people don't know that you, you know, you run track here. Are you going to continue to run this spring? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Has it been um, too hard on the legs? Well, yeah, last year I couldn't because I had to have knee surgery. And um, after experiencing a spring of not playing a college sport, it was really nice being able to go home whenever I wanted and just spending a lot more time studying and, and more time relaxing. And after this basketball season that's maybe one of the only things I'm looking forward to with being done with basketball is being able to exercise in different ways that don't take out so much on your body and <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to that part. Final question, could you physically play another year? In other words, how, how hard has it been on your bodies to play? Uh, I know for me especially I don't think I could do another year. <laughs> my legs probably couldn't take it. I mean my, I would want to but um, I'm certainly not in the same shape I was at 18. <laughs> um, I don't think my body would let me, but I would try for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm just too competitive just to give it up. Um, and I've been battling, I don't know how many injuries this year, and then the same injury since last April. So, I mean, I think it's something that's too big in my life just to not give an effort for. So, I mean, even though my body probably would tell me no, I'd still probably try.